guys, it's Ian, and we're going to wander now over to the singer stand. Now, this is a collaboration with uh, Singer and Williams. First, we saw the car at Goodwood 2018. Um, I guess the question has to be, what happens when you merge a retro-designed 911 with a Formula One racing team? Well, you get probably the most sought-after air-cooled 911 ever. Singer call it dynamics and lightweight study, but they are actually going to make 750 of these. We say this could be the ultimate water-cooled 911. Rob Dickinson is the brains behind Singer. He's a former musician, uh, moved over to LA in the early uh, noughties. He's been making these cars for 10 years now and has a loyal following. The theory was to build the ultimate air-cooled, no expense spared 911. So a partnership was formed with Williams Advanced Engineering and looked over by two of the Porsche greats, Hans Metzger, responsible for all race and GT3 engines, all the way up to the 991, and Norbert Singer, the renowned German automotive engineer who played a key role in all Porsche Le Mans victories between 1970 and 1998. Williams has taken on responsibility for the front and rear suspension, the braking systems using Brembo CCM stroke R discs. Now these are the same on the, as I understand it, on the Bugatti Chiron. And, and the full aero study to make this car actually work from a downforce perspective. Then other companies were um, prepared to make bespoke items for the car, from Brembo brakes to Michelin tyres, Momo steering wheels, XTC with adjustable dampers, Hewland with the six-speed transmission, Recaro with the sports seats, and BBS with the individually crafted wheels. The wheels are utterly stunning. Obviously the eye-catching ducktail that you can see here was re-engineered by Williams to actually provide downfalls, whereas the original really didn't. And this was with the, uh, the rear diffuser and redesigned front splitter, which really provided real downforce to the car and a really pretty much a perfect balance front to rear. However, lest we forget the engine, which is nothing short of completely magnificent. It's a four litre, air-cooled, of course naturally aspirated, six, with four valve heads chucking out 500 HP, so 490 brake horsepower at around 9,000 reps. And at 990 kgs, this car will be fast. I mean, our own GT3 is fast, same amount of output, but considerably more, weighing in at 1350 kgs. Both Mario Franchetti and our own Chris Harris had significant input as test drivers. And my understanding is the cars will be built at Williams Oxfordshire base in a plant dedicated for the manufacture of this car. So it's, it's incredibly exciting. I mean, there have been a lot of partners to make this car the ultimate 911, which I believe it to be. And at the end of the day, I think it'll probably be a one-off because getting all these people together with really with an unlimited budget is not something car manufacturers can do today. One of the things that you can see from a styling perspective with this car is how close to the original um, 1973 RS they've tried to keep the car, perhaps with the exceptional exception of the obviously flared rear arches and front arches. Just beautifully proportioned in my opinion. The, the tyres were made by my Michelin and they're 295 diameters but to fit on an 11 and a half inch rim so they had to be designed specifically so they could be stretched to go over the rim and as a consequence it gives the car a very very focused look. I just love the ducktail. The ducktail is phenomenal.
So you can see here the flared arches at the front over the foot wheels. And coming to the interior of the car, very individually designed. Now obviously this will be changeable based upon what the customer wants, but masses of amount of carbon fibre. A brace to make sure the um, structural rigidity is maintained. And then modern design items like the side skirts in carbon fibre. Overall, a very cohesive design, um, maintaining the original design features like the upright headlamps and the indicator lamps, and merging it into a car that's modern underneath. I think one of the show's highlights, guys,